Pinky Benson of Pinky Nose Naples, and I'm here with my new friend, Jennifer Greylock. Hello, everyone. How are you today? <laughs> and we're at the beach, can you tell? I know. Beautiful, beautiful beach here in Naples. I love Naples Beach. I mean, any better. I've seen a lot of the beaches in Florida, and I have to say that this is one of my favorite beaches because it's not too crowded. It's not too touristy. Absolutely. And you've been all over the world. Yes. And oh, yes, everywhere. <laughs> and how does our beach compare to all the other ones you might have seen? I think Naples has the best beach. It's always it's never packed solid. The sand is always clean. It's always white. You can get on the beach, relax. You can you can be all around multi-million billion oh, dollar homes. Sixty just million right dollar here. homes. Yeah. I know they're just crazy right here, and it's just, they're just gorgeous, aren't it they? Is. Yes. And the, and the water is so clear, and in the summer it's warm like bath water, and that's what I love. <laughs> Warm ocean water. Warm, warm ocean water. <laughs> so anyway, we we are joining here with Jennifer. Jennifer has quite a little bit of a history here. Will you say history? Yeah. History. Yeah. Okay. She's she's well known as a celebrity photographer. So red carpet lady here. I'm talking. So <laughs> award winning. You, yeah, award winning. I won the Hollywood Beauty Award as the best photographer this year. See see that what you learn on Pinky Nose Naples. <laughs> <laughs> so yes, she's won awards and also. You have started your own line of, how would you say, decor? Yeah, furniture, home decor furniture. Home de decor furniture, and so you were featured, showcased on? On Billion Dollar Buyer. Billion Dollar Buyer, which is a huge show with Tillman and say it's like free. Tillman Fertitta. Fertitta, Fertitta, oh, the Beach Patrol's the going beach by. Patrol. Yeah, so there's the Beach Patrol. <laughs> and uh, what was Tillman like? Oh, Tillman was a lot of fun. You know, he's, he's a good guy. He has great business sense. Uh, he's very, very honest and forthright, and it was a pleasure being on the show. How did that come to be? <laughs> they saw my Donald Trump chair. Donald Trump chair. Okay, so what she does in essence is she takes any kind of picture, which you have like, what, two million archive pictures? Yeah, two million of... copyright images that we can use on our furniture. And you put it on chairs? Benches. Chairs, benches, couches, headboards, pillows. Pillows, pillows. I like the pillows. Whatever a client wants. Whatever, and, and it doesn't have to be famous people, so it doesn't have to be Donald Trump. No, it no. It could be your I, dog. I have clients that have, have asked me to photograph their dog and other pets and to make furniture for them. I've had clients come to me and say, we have this picture we took of my wife and we need to celebrate her birthday. Can you oh, do something? nice. And as long as they're high resolution and they can prove to me they have the copyright for the image, that they're, I can use it, no problem, we make it. And it, they're amazing things. So check out their website, which is facechairs.com. Yes, face and they're also on plural. Facebook as well. Yes. So you can check them out there. So how did, they saw your Donald Trump, and was that, that was obviously a picture you took of Mr. Trump? I photographed uh, Donald since, the 90s. I've been through all of his wives. Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> he's he's hilarious. But I made a chair as a joke, and I had to have some fun with it with uh, with the election, everything going on, and people being crazy and not you know being able to deal with what was happening. I'm like, for me, I have to make fun of everything. Oh, of course. So you gotta laugh at life. You have to. So I took a picture I did of Donald, where he would always perform for me. You're fired. Uh, like gotcha. So I took that image of him doing your fired and put it on a chair and did the chair in 24 karat gold paint. And believe it or not, <laughs> believe it or not, someone bought it. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? How much did they buy it for? Can I ask? Well, because it was done in 24 karat gold, it went for $4,000. Oh, only $4,000. Only $4,000 4, with Donald Trump on it saying you're fired. Right. <laughs> and, and then we did others where we just had his face on the seat of the chair. And, and those were going for 480 and sold quite a few. And we did the same thing with Hillary because the equal opportunity you have to. You here. have to. You have to have fun. Yep. And the Hillary chair sold too. And even um, two of them went up for auction at one of the children's charities here I in Naples. I saw that. And it sold for $2,800, nice. I think. And it helped a lot of children. Yeah, so that and that's to me important. is just wonderful that you can help people at the same time as having fun, goofing off. <laughs> and just enjoying life. So Tillman saw your chair of Donald Trump. And thought it was hilarious. And he thought it was hilarious. So he reached out to you and, and that's how the show came to be. What yes. was that like? What was that experience? Because I mean, obviously you're a photographer, so you're used to being on the other side oh, of the camera. Definitely. What was it like to be on, well, this side of the camera? Oh, it's hilarious. Because you know all the things you know when you're behind the camera. You know how to tell people, wear this, 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 and this. Do your makeup like that. But when it's your turn to do it, you forget everything. <laughs> 
<laughs> so we hired a hair and makeup artist when we were filming part of it down here in Florida, and with the humidity, we needed it. Except she gave us Armenian eyebrows, so the eyebrows came into the room before we did. Oh, well, there you go. I hear that's a hot look, so. Well, it is. It's like the Kardashian look. I mean, it's a beautiful look, but right. none of us were used to it. So and, and we, so we just thought to us it was just funny. Kind of like what was that Ernie or Bert and Ernie? One of them has the, very, the big very dark and very, very dark. Angular, oh, you know, nice. It was, it was. It, we loved it. It was fun. But to see ourselves looking like that, we were like, oh god, no, what <laughs> happened? So you were happy with the end result of the show. You were okay with it. Oh, it all came out good. Absolutely. And what has the response been since you've been on the show? Oh, it's been great. We have a lot of people sending us messages and telling us how wonderful we are. We've had people telling us, oh, we can make the deal for you. The deal's not dead. <laughs> but, and that cracks me up because so much of the show that we taped, no one ever sees. Of course not, yeah. So there's, there's specific things that happen behind the scenes that were never brought forth on the show. And a lot of it had to do with the costing. And right. so when we went to make the chairs for him, the stools with the back, we had to use his specifications and his specifications are only done by two companies in the United States. Oh my gosh. Wow. So, as such, the price that, that we were given from, from these vendors, both vendors work with Tillman mm -hmm. and that was the price that. Right. They, Obviously it was going to exceed yeah. whatever their expectation right. was. Yeah. So, so that part of it just cracks me up. But I mean, an amazing experience. Now we're going to talk a little bit about your SLEB. Photog status here. Yeah. All right, so you've been doing this since the 90s? Is yes, that when? Since okay. Since the 90s. I'll only admit to 20 years. Okay, I'm going <laughs> to let you. She graduated from Montana State. That was her undergraduate. And right. then you went on to? To Fairleigh Dickinson University, where I got my MBA. All right. I had to have something to fall back on. Yep. Oh, we dropping stuff? We just dropped the cell phone. <laughs> oh, shh. Okay. In the sand. <laughs> it's okay, it'll be fine. Yeah. <laughs> um, and then you, you got into photography, you were working in New York as what, an assistant? Is that how it started? And then you kind of... I, I did the assisting for all of like five minutes. Oh, okay. And, and then I started doing jobs for, for magazines and doing fashion shoots. And then I worked at the magazines as a photography director. And then from there I was like, you know what? I need to do my own thing. And I started doing the celebrity photography. And it's just blossomed from there. So you were saying the Oscars is one of your favorites. Love the Oscars. What, what is it like to be literally on that red carpet with those? Oh, it, it's awesome because there's only a few photographers. It, you know, they, every year they cut down the amount of people and it, it's less and less people who get to photograph it. And to be one of those people that are consistently there, I've been doing it for over 10 years now, is just an amazing experience. Uh, and to be there and watch people, you know, very, very humble and then they win and how excited they are and it's just incredible. It's just incredible. Wow, just just amazing. And then of course, you were just on Kathy Lee and Hoda. <laughs> I did the Today Show. I, I've always wanted to do the Today Show. Like I just actually, it's on my bucket list just to be in the little audience outside, you know, oh, with the you gotta sign. Do, you gotta I gotta do, do the sign thing. That's my that's my next big thing on my bucket list. So um, yeah, so you, you did the show yes. and they had you on, because Hoda was actually off for yeah, the baby leave, the baby, right? Yeah. So I had Craig Ferguson okay. um, and, and Kathy Lee, and my job was to teach them how to do the best selfie. All right, so of course we all want to know, what would you say is your number one tip when it comes to doing a selfie? Number one tip is know your light. Ah. Light is very important. Once you have the light down, you can play around and be able to get a good photo. But it's, it's to know you don't want the light behind you because you go black. There's no nothing here. There we go. You don't want the light in front of you because then you're like this all the time. You know? <laughs> yeah, I have so, so many pictures of my son like this because uh -huh. he hates the sun in his eyes. So if you're on a beach situation where it's not overcast like today, you want to go into a shady area. And once you're in the shady area, you're able to open your eyes. Mm -hmm. And everything looks fine and it also the shade and the, and the diffused light gets rid of any wrinkles that you may have oh that's very important to know ladies write that one down Absolutely. so you know um i have to say i was when selfies were the thing i think that um it was the year of the selfie and um i have to say that i was taking all these selfies and posting them on facebook like you did and i had somebody say to me I had to stop following you because I got so tired of seeing your smiling, happy face. <laughs> I thought, I don't know that this is about me. I think this is more about you. <laughs> but I have said that I've, I've taken a ton of selfies myself, and I think the angle is very important, that's, too. That's the second tip. You always want to do a higher angle. Higher angle, guys. When, when you're going for it. So yep. and, and, you, know, you want to do two hands or one hand. Practice in a mirror. 
Yep. That always helps. Yep. Just keep yep. on practicing. And the best part is you can delete all the bad ones. Oh, for sure. Do not put up a bad selfie. There's no, no reason for a bad selfie. Not anymore. Not with all these filters and things of that nature that you can. Everybody apparently <laughs> wants to be on, on the phone with me right now. <laughs> so who knew? Who knew? Um, but yeah, so selfies were huge. So what did Kathy Lee, what do you think she took away? Did she take a lot of selfies? Oh yeah, she's she after we we finished filming, she told me she goes, oh this was so informative. She goes, I always forget about these things, you know the high angle. Of course, you need the high angle. Yeah. And, and she goes, and I'm glad you said light because it's very important that you get the light. And, and for her, yeah. she knows. Yeah. Oh you know, yeah. That, well, that's her job. You have to know. The you light. have to know the light, and you know, and don't ever take the picture looking down because it no. makes you look like you're like getting a double chin. Give like double, or I'll give you boobs that look like they're. You know, out here. Well, maybe some people want that look. It's cheaper than a plastic surgeon. It is. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. No, there was actually, a, were you a fan of Golden Girls back in the 90s? Yes, okay. I love them. All right. So there was a Golden Girls episode where uh, Dorothy was giving Blanche tips on how to make herself look like she has a facelift. And she's like, if you lay back, it looks like you're, you've had a facelift. But of course, you also slide to the right as well. That was it's right and left, I suppose. <laughs> And, and, then, them down. and she's like, and then, but don't ever look over because then it looks, you know, like you've gained 25 pounds in an instant. So, yes, it's true. It's true. So now you've lived in Naples since the 80s. We were talking. Yes. What do you love about, other than the beach, because I know you love the beach love as the much beach. as I do. Love what it. is it that you love about Naples? You know, Naples, it's just very calm and quiet. And with all the work that I do all over the place, it's very frenetic. And you're like, go, 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 go. Type yeah. A personality, you know, ah. To come down here and be able to relax and just chill is fantastic. And I love it that I never see celebrities. And when I do, I'm like, why are you here? This is my place. This is my time. Go away. You know, I heard John Travolta was just down in um, 3rd Street. I think it was John Travolta, yeah. yeah. He was down in 3rd Street visiting, I heard. Yeah. yeah. Mm. He just popped into a restaurant down there. That's too funny. So they must be following you. Oh, they must no. be coming. <laughs> Please, no. This is my time. <laughs> So Naples, what about restaurants? Or do you have a favorite oh. restaurant that you're like, well, when you're all over the world and traveling, do you go, oh, I can't wait to get home to Naples and have a... Campiello's. Campiello's. That's, I've been going there since it was Boschetti's. Ah, there so we go. That's a ago. long time. Okay. Long and it's always my go-to because I love sitting out in the uh, courtyard area. Right. And you can, the birds come flying by and you can... You, the sun and the flowers. It's very historic. It has a very historic feeling. Yeah. It's it's third. Again, it's down on third, and it's a wonderful area. If you've not been there, you've got to go check it out. It's very, like I said, very historic, and it gives you that feeling of old Florida, I oh, think. Yeah. You know, it's yeah. definitely. So that's your, that's your go-to restaurant. That's my go-to restaurant, and Bruno's, the store that's right next door to That Campiello's. carries some of the stuff. We're going to show you here in a second, so stay with us. We want to show you some of her work. Um, but yeah, so Bruno's is down there. That's a Bruno's store. Bruno's is down there, and he has all these exciting and fun gifts. Oh. And, and things that you never see. All right, you know, I got to do a Pinky you, Nose Naples there, you, then. You got to check it out. Yeah. It, it's, it's just high-end gifts, low-end gifts, and they're all fun and eclectic and beautiful. And that's what I love. I love to see things that are different and eclectic. Yeah, and, that, and I think that's Naples. I think there's yeah. a lot of that here in Naples, because you still get that old feel of Naples here, old school feel, old Florida. Um, anything else that you really enjoy about Naples? Oh, I just, uh, one thing I don't like is the traffic. It, well, you know, we double in population during uh, season, so. Traffic, no likey. <laughs> no likey. But, but everything else I love, I love going to the waterside shops. Oh, Because you can great. walk outside and go mm -hmm. shopping. And yep. I love hunting and gathering. Hunting and gathering. That's what, call that's what you call shopping. Because that's it? what it is. Okay, she's hunter so, and a gatherer. So the family, <laughs> we, we all have we all have a competition all the time. Oh, who can get the best stuff for the least amount of money? Oh, that sounds like fun. <laughs> I think I want in on this family. It's always fun. <laughs> it, it has, is it pink too? The least amount. You should throw that in. The least and the best pink object you can find in town. Ooh, absolutely. Yeah. Some then good you stuff at Marshalls. Oh, Marshalls. There you go. Marshalls. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's see some of these great things. We, we brought them out to the beach, so we're kind of it's kind of funny because I'm watching these people kind of out of the corner of my eye as uh -huh, we walk by. by. Yeah, by. and they're like, ah. what are these people doing? So, are right, you guys ready to see this? All right, let's pop this up. Let me get the phone. All right, I was sitting on George the face Clooney. of George Clooney, and you were saying these chairs, there's J-Lo, yes, they, they were actually in... The show. Yes, they're on the show, um, and these are our artist proofs. Everything that we do are signed and numbered. Oh, okay. So nothing is a commercial run. But we consider everything we do as art. 
Okay. And, and so George Clooney photographed him, and we think he's the sexiest man alive. You think? I think I know. Well, I know, we know he's we know. now he's going to be a daddy. That makes him even more sexier, oh, right? Yeah. <laughs> uh, so we had to do that. And JLo, I mean, she's such a beautiful woman and such an, an accomplished actress and dancer and singer. It just, she's just beautiful. And then the bench. The this bench. is one of your more unique pieces this is here. A new one. This is the double angel bench. Double angel. And we just like it because we feel it's very serene and it's different. I never see anything like this anywhere. And where did you where did you get this picture? Where did you take it? I was in Paris and I saw a beautiful statue and I took pictures of it and then I manipulated it and created the double angel. So it's fun. It's fun. Yeah. It's fun. It's fun. And then there's also another another side story. Tell us about your your how do you say her name? Oh, Turlene. 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 Trailer Park Queen. Trailer Park Queen. And and she has her own Facebook. She does. She has her own Facebook. She has uh, about twenty thousand followers <laughs> on Facebook. Uh, you can see her at Turlene Trailer Park Queen. How do you spell Turlene? With a T. T U R L E E N. Okay. Turlene is funny. She's about the size of a Barbie, but she's not a Barbie. No, definitely uh, not. She's pregnant. She is pregnant. Very it's been pregnant. a long, long pregnancy, I think, for her. She has curlers in the hair. Uh -huh. She smokes a cigarette. <gasps> she makes moonshine. <laughs> she does lots of bad things. She was out at the beach today. She was. She was hanging out in her hammock. Oh, good. You guys will be able to see her on her Facebook page later today. So make sure we like that page mm -hmm. for sure. And how did you come to acquire her? I thought that was an interesting story. Uh, back in the late 90s, she was out. And the gentleman who made her went bankrupt later on and so I saw it I loved her I bought her back then and I've always thought she was hilarious and so I bought the company and now I have her copyrighted I have her trademarked and we're hoping to first we're working on a TV show oh good so yes we're excited about yes that. we have to have a reality show with her Definitely. that would be interesting Definitely. And, and secondly we want to put the doll in production and that's what we're working on and that's the hard part because she's all American white trash how can you make her in China I, this is we true. We want it made in America, China. right? Yeah. Exactly, made in America. So, so that's what we're working towards, and that's difficult because the costing of U.S. versus China is so much more expensive to have it done here. But we're hoping. We're hoping that something will happen. Where there's a will, there's a way, right? And there's... we can get her back out on the show. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, we'll just finish up here, and we just want to make sure that you go to facechairs.com. Facechairs.com. This is Jennifer... Greylock. 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 Check her out on Facebook, right? you got yes. your own Facebook page. Check out Face Chairs on Facebook and FaceChairs.com. And what else could we add to this? Oh, well, I'm on Instagram at Greylock Photo. There we go. You can check her out there. And you're off to, where are you going next? Oh, uh, back to New York. Back to New York City. For the Tribeca Film Festival, oh. the Time 100 Gala, Oh. and the Costume Institute Gala. There we go. You see, she's a woman of many places. You're going to be very busy over the next few weeks. I will. I can't wait till I come back home. Okay. <laughs> well, thank you so much for joining us today. We hope you enjoyed it. And if you need anything from me, always think pink. Pinky Nose Naples. And you can find me at pinkynosenaples.com. See you guys soon. Awesome. Bye.